not sure how much space I've got left um, for videoing, but I just thought I'd better have a look at my cannula and, um, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm just feeling like I should just attend to clean this a bit. Um, uh, how do I do this? I'm going to put my, I can't hold it, um, at some time, but, um, uh, so I am sort of trying to remove the band-aid, much of it was what I put on, but it's pulling the cannula out and um, I'm just wondering how to, um, like I, d I'm not, I'm not taking it out yet, um, I'm not, I'm not, um, but I'm also like a little bit worried, um, so you know, I knew about my 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 um well not my concern, my the opposite of my concern um. You know, my opportunity that I'm aware of is to get sepsis. Um, and I did quite a bit of reading about um, cannulation, and um, you know, there are controversies about how often the site should be changed and. Um, medical, you know, real maybe not pra not the practice of medicine, but the theory of um, medical procedures that are often not really c followed by nurses or not communicated clearly between nurses and doctors. Um, anyway, it appears from pretty good. I mean. I I actually think yeah I think it was um I think it was a design trial um uh, and I uh, and I can imagine how it would have passed eth an ethics committee um they weren't trying to create a, a blood infection but I think they were just trying to sort of see what kind of bacteria were forming around the um the entry site um and those like staff and stuff like that and I mean. The kind of bacteremia you get depends very much on your mortality and um, morbid morbidity rate uh, rates. Um, and yeah, um, I want to keep that in there. Um, but I'm but the other things are that the risks are not just you know bac bacteremia. It's also um, we well, can get hematomas, and I'm not really sure what. The problem with hematomas are maybe there is no um, intrinsic risk with hematomas. It might just be that they turn into um, like um, just thromboses, um, which of course can become um, embolisms get into the lung pulmonary embolisms. I suppose. Um, I mean, people I've I've read of people who have, you know, there's lots of articles in like the Sun and that kind of thing about people who've been sent home with cannulas in their arm and, you know, one guy went temporarily blind in one eye and, um, you know, there's been a kid who had their had to have like their arm amputated or hand amputated and stuff, so there's all sorts of things that can happen, um, that won't necessarily be. Deadly, and um, I know my big fear is always my big fear has always been getting a blood clot, um, and yeah, I'm 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 really kind of cruising for a blood clot, I have to say. Um, but anyway, I just thought I might document. Um, I'm not seeing any pus at the moment, but I did. Um, put. You know, I did give a little bit of a wipe of the area with um, a Q-tip with some, um, what do I used to call rubbing oil, uh, rubbing um, alcohol, um, uh, isopropyl alcohol, which I don't think is supposed to be put directly on wounds, but I'm not really, my aim is not to keep very good care of myself, but my aim is just to say, um, after the first go today with Robin, and yeah, there was some, it was, there was a large part of it that was my fault because I'd forgotten that we'd had an, um, an appointment today. Um, 
but that forgetfulness, there's a lot more to it, and I've, al I've already documented that. There's a lot, even the forgetfulness itself is like, they haven't made allowances for that kind of thing, and um, Robin lied and lied and lied um, subsequently um, through other channels to get me in trouble, looking like she's a real witch, she's a real witch. Um, so I'm getting a phone call, and Siobhan got in touch as well over a text message, but you know the, not a text message from her number, you can reply if you just said computer generated one, I think. So, I'm not saying they're setting me up in this case, but I think they're very pleased that I had forgotten because uh, it gives them a really good lever. Um, and I don't know, like I'm getting a call from Robin now tomorrow at 9.30. Um, and depending on what Robin says, um, I mean, I may want to use, I may want want to use this. But I, I had a shower, like I had a shower shower, not just a bottle of water, so I've made it quite wet. And um, I'm not ready for a sudden onset yet. I want to have everything in order and I just want to enjoy my life a bit more and yeah. I, I honestly, I don't know what, like, there's a vein sort of bulging there, like, is that a clot? Like, I'm really, like, what is that? <laughs> it's not the cannula. Um, yeah, I'm a bit... Yeah, it could be a, sorry, I've been palpating it, it could be a blood clot, I, I don't know, I don't fucking know, I really don't, I really don't, um, I don't think that's a good sign, <laughs> um, yeah, I, w I, I would like to die sort of with sepsis, so I don't, I'm not really that keen on a blood clot, so, I'm just gonna put a little. I'm. Um, I'm just gonna pull this bit back and put a, put a fresh bit of um, sticking plaster band aid over it, and you know, um, I think I put a lot of it in storage and I've given some away, but I do have some medical, like I've got some serious sort of medical wound treatment stuff from when I had that abscess that, I, that was cleaned and packed and stuff in the community. Oh well, you know, I mean not in my home but I would go into the community hub, district nursing hub. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so I've sent it to See, I'm I'm following the lead of these people. Um, I'm not gonna approach any of them, but because Siobhan has approached me from, because the, because I've been approached from from addresses that I'm not supposed to be using, I'm following their lead and I'm using those addresses too. Like I'm sorry, but that's how it goes, and um, so. Now I have shared what I've sent Robin to others um, and Siobhan has popped back on the scene and she introduced herself as Siobhan and it's like, you know who I am, you know who I am. So I don't think that anyone's going to start pulling their socks, on, socks up and go, oh my god Robin what are you doing? I think they're just going to get sneakier. Um, I've already updated my police report to say um, nada to the welfare checks and I've quoted the Bill of Rights Act. Um, you can't, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm going to trespass any officer who comes to do a welfare check. 
I'm not dealing with police unless it's to actually do police work, which is like stop the crimes. Now they're probably not going to do do that. I think that NSD and the police are probably allies at this stage. Um, and um, you know, I'm not saying that they they they've been in cahoots in the beginning or anything, but I think you know they can sort of scratch scratch each other's back. Um, a bit, and um, yeah, so I don't know, but I'm just going to carry on with my life, and um, I'll see what Robin has to say tomorrow, um, yeah, um, <laughs> I can't really clean my wound with um, my phone bill, uh, filming it, but I'm just going to do what I can do. Anyway, at the moment I'm just listening to a doc, doc, uh, BB, it sounds like a BBC documentary on um, Guantanamo Bay. Um, uh, and it's all um, English guys. Um, but, you know, uh, racially or culture, um, ethnically, um, sort of Middle Eastern and so forth.